This is Jamal Jones by Doomkid and Company. This is a compilation by Doomkid that was put together as a competition for his 20 long years anniversary celebration. In particular, I'm going to be looking at map 17 of episode 1 today, uh, which is called Sewage City and is by Blue Phoenix. And I'm going to be talking about the monster placement and encounter design. Clearly, we've sneaked into here already without them noticing, despite their watchfulness. Whoa, okay. And uh, I, I, the blind pinkies always scare me because the, just their face is so unexpected. Uh, there's going to be some uh, dehacked monsters in this and some custom textures that are all uh, included by Doom Kid. I thought that was going to be the door to uh, go out at first, but uh, we're going in a different direction instead. I would say that. Um, it's not really necessary to have monsters facing away. Hang on, no, I'm not. All right. Actually, can I have all of the monsters facing away, please? Right, let's do that again. I often find it weird when uh, monsters are uh, staring intently at walls. Like he is there. It's not a big thing. It, it just can look sometimes weird to me. But there's a mancubus in there. Okay, that was uh, what killed me last time. It's a surprisingly uh, long range. And the hazmat zombies are uh, replacements for the... Uh, I can't remember, Commander Keen or something. That uh, act like arachnitrons. This is quite a heavy amount of firepower to be facing with uh, just an assault rifle. The uh, double-bladed chainsaw is always uh, a nice extra there. So clearly a city-based map where you can uh, whoop, where you can go uh, anywhere you like from the start and the situation is that you're having to uh, find the route, find the keys. Oh, cyber demon up there. Not being gentle this, is it? Thought that might be a switch. It wasn't. Ah! Ow. Oh, they're not quick saved. All right, third time lucky. Let's see. It's always clever when you have a room that looks apparently empty, uh, and uh, then something rushes out at you from a place where it doesn't look like it should quite have been able to fit. All right, let's. Uh Let's actually get that chainsaw again. I think that's going to be coming quite useful. All right, we've quick saved. All right. The new texture pack. Uh, I uh, unfortunately they forgot to look up what it was. But uh, it's a nice alternative to the standard textures that looks a bit grimier, more run down. And uh, paradoxically, a bit fresher as well. It's not the same old textures we've been uh, seeing for ages. I feel like I might have missed something. That I'm, I, I'm surely meant to have the shotgun at least by now. Or uh, maybe the maybe the double chainsaw is the solution to all my problems. <laughs> I just drifted up here. See chain gunners. I'm uh, going to try to comment on the combat, just uh, but you're making me run away a lot, which is a good thing. All right, at last. Putting a chain gunner right in the middle of a room there really forces the player to uh, prioritize, namely prioritize the chain gunner. <laughs> Oh, 
All right. And there's uh, been a lot of uh, John Romero's old favourite, I've noticed, which is uh, getting you to descend into an arena so that there's no way back. Oh, did I not grab his shotgun? Hang on a minute. Got it. Okay. Now we've got a decent chance of survival. I think uh, somebody else took the care of the chain gunner for me this time. Oh. Cutting it a bit close here. Just from that uh, hit scanner across the way. Ow! I knew that was going to happen. Killed by a zombie man, as usual. <laughs> I, I can't see where he is. All right, come on. Come and get it. There he is. Tempted by whatever that weapon is up there. It's always a challenge to balance for weapons that aren't the original Doom set. You really have to develop a new understanding of the weapons. I think that this shotgun's a bit more powerful than the... Uh, standard rifle, if I'm uh, remembering correctly. Was that, uh, <laughs> had that missile just been hanging around waiting to get me for ages? Yeah, I think this was a, this was a good room. It had, uh, attacks from all sides, difficult to find a place for you to set up a base. What are you? Does this assault rifle fire uh, two bullets at a time? No. This is one of Doom Kid's favourites, I think, the uh, toxic uh, poison spewing caca demon. Uh, I'm going. Oh, I thought I was going to need to jump down the point of no return there. Whoa, that's a rocket launcher. I thought it was I thought it was just a heavier assault rifle. Bit of luck there. Ah, what a classic trick. Elevator goes down, except it goes uh, down and reveals a bit more than you thought. The uh, texture here is really nice. The uh, the borders. You've got a lot of things that are happening from unexpected angles in this map, and I respect that. Right, there's sticky toffee pudding there, but uh, we're not going to get that just yet, because we're coveting this. That's a big chain gun. All right, all the way back over. Not yet. Oh yeah, we need to uh, we need to get this red key. I can't actually tell the colour of the skulls in that uh, in that uh, border. They look white to me. Uh, okay, let's see. Ah, is this a sneaky area around the back? Okay. Don't really want to go that way because there's a big cyber demon there. Hang on, I've got a rocket launcher. What? 
not a bit of luck. Ow. Fortunately, I had my uh, finger on the quick save. No. <laughs> uh, beautiful combination attack. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that cyber demon's still out there. And I can't get back that way. I can open that. I, s I suppose that's red. I, get I can see the red uh, around the eyes now, actually, and there's no green key, so it's got to be red. This one is... that's red. And this is the starting area again, isn't it? Should be using my auto map. Um, yeah. Very elaborate uh, kind of demonic city as well. I, I love the uh, light around there. Remember, I pulled that switch, but not what happened afterwards. one with uh, not a full complement of health. It's actually a bit better than I thought it was. I thought it was somewhere in the 20s. It's going to be dangerous to use rockets around here. Not a whole lot of uh, breathing room. Having weak plasma enemies is a uh, another uh, big difference. You don't have anything that's uh, really capable of doing a lot of damage to you, but goes down very easily. Apart from the chain gunner and the shotgunner, and quite a lot of other enemies, really. But anyway. <laughs> There's another one to add to that library, is what I think I'm trying to say. Alright, that one I can see is blue. Well, the exit is uh, a no-entry sign at the moment. I've got enough blue armour. It's a... oh! What? Oh, a flamethrower! Oh, a flamethrower can't get demon, I see. Ah. This uh, map is really good at sus uh, springing surprises out of places you wouldn't expect. I suppose that's the definition of a surprise, really, but... When you... What, what triggered it last time? Oh, it was this. Right, there's the charcoal demon. Uh, just barely hanging on here. 
But you find a lot of um, corners to put enemies in that look like uh, they wouldn't fit enemies or they wouldn't be coming from there because it'd be too much effort to squeeze a trap in. Um, oh, okay. So I don't, that exit sign doesn't actually point to the true exit. This is the exit of this particular bit. Not even halfway through the map yet. Oh, turns the wrong direction to run in. Uh, might have to... Oh no, we can't get some more health uh, before I go in there. Yes, we can. That'll help. Here we go. <laughs> um, they never expected that. Seriously, no. Oh, last second distraction. I'll do it myself then. Christmas, Dennis Norden. Snooked myself with the barrels. What a chain reaction. Yeah, you, you teleported enemies in exactly the places the player wants to run to. Why did I just... Why did I think that would... Why did I decide that wouldn't be a trap? <laughs> Scavenging up the dregs of health available. The, the Grand Theft Auto uh, bullet ricochet sound is part of that shotgun sound effect, and it always reminds me of how annoying combat in that game was. I learned recently from uh, Pixel Amusement's Ancient DOS Games videos that uh, the original Grand Theft Auto, he, he posits an interesting uh, supposition, which is that the original Grand Theft Auto is actually terrible. <laughs> and uh, I, I have to, it was it was a huge thing looking back uh, at the time, but it, it's... Um, there's so much wrong with it. You can't strafe. Gun combat is just infuriating, especially when you're asked to go up against entire gangs with machine guns. It's impossible. Um, and the interesting bit is that uh, they actually paid someone to write a ton of controversial articles about it uh, to manufacture this, uh, this uh, controversy, this interest. You never see John Romero doing that. I remember Daikatana as well. Do you know what? I've never played Daikatana. All I know is uh, that advert, and that I think it's a first-person shooter. It seems likely. another example of where you, you hide a monster where the player doesn't quite look because 
It's, it's obviously, obviously that stops there, but uh, you've got a little bit of room. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, glad I didn't actually go down there, but uh, it is a secret. Ah! Yeah, actually, can I, can, I, can I just go in with the plasma gun, please? Here we go! Thank you. Presumably that gives me a vantage point for somewhere else as well? Am I coming backwards through a situation that I was meant to get to later? Yeah, okay. Um, this reminds me of back on Plutonia. Oh, you wouldn't be able to do that in Vanilla Doom, would you? Nevertheless... Yeah, all of this is uh, vanilla, by the way. It's all uh, de-hacked stuff. No custom GZ Doom or anything. Doom Kid does like these uh, little ball power-ups. Okay, where now? I'm gonna delay pressing that. I just want to see where I am. So yeah, I went through the caves there. This is... Oh, that's not it. I was going to say this is uh, where I exit. All right. Yeah, I came up this way. I'm surprised this uh, is in within vanilla limits, by the way. I thought that you would have to do a lot uh, more optimization to get within vanilla uh, line, uh, what are they called? This plane limits. Every time I try to do something even remotely elaborate, I immediately run out of them. So yeah, I'm not totally sure. I'm not totally sure where I came from. <laughs> Goodness gracious me, that's a lot of chain gunners. <sighs> Love the music choice as well, by the way. Oh, that is a great uh, sector truck. I'm amazed by the uh, wonder of sectors. Hey, uh, sorry, I I'll pull myself away from that. Hey, Doom Kid, why isn't your mapping competition called the, the Joy of Sectors? Anyway. Okay, we're stocked up. We've got some rockets as well. All right, we're we're piecing it together. We've uh, connected some areas. Yeah, that was uh, that got me out of there because I had to go down the way. That is uh, a route to another point of no return. 
This is, I thought I, this was the bottom floor of the um, warehouse that I went into. Maybe, yes, it is. Uh, I, I had to quick load from there, didn't I? Oh, who's hiding in a box? Trigger happy with my plasma gun there. And a bit cavalier with my health, look at that. <laughs> uh, the definition of stumbling into a secret. I'm not sure what I picked up. What did I get? Uh, oh, the computer area map. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Um, and we're through. Okay, that's good. Come on! You know your trouble is you're too good at uh, placing these uh, ambushes. And I mean that in the best way possible, I promise. Uh, it's amazing how you anticipate where the player is going to run. Or at least where I'm going to run. Mm. Nah. Can I just get up there? Is there some really obvious way of getting up there that I'm missing? Okay, let's uh, plasma them in anticipation this time. Okay. All right, that was a net positive. Where have I not been? But, uh, yeah, I, I tried to flatten my Scottish bean into the more English bin or the American bin, but it sounds weird, and I don't know why I did it on the spur of the moment. Still looking for the yellow key. And yeah, that was that trap which had the uh, hazmat zombies, I think. Ow! Reload that one. an effective little secret as well. Ow. That's an effective little secret as well. Not quite elaborate enough to be uh, counted as a secret, but... Ah! I was just interested to see on the map if uh, there was anything beyond that uh, poison sign. Didn't mean to have the rocket launcher out, but everything worked out okay. Just trying to listen to the soundtrack now. So we went through the blue door, we went through up here, or we even we even went across up here. We haven't gone into this big uh, cathedral yet.
Uh, okay, we've got about uh, 100 monsters remaining. The Hiken's watching us. Is that a screen, or has he just uh, got his nose pressed up to the window? Probably the most shells ever spent to get rid of two imps. Hi there. You can never just let me have a secret, can you? One. Oh, he opened it at the same time. Oh, a lot of shotgunners up there. Didn't actually mean to switch to that. I've, uh... Before I got the new mouse, I mapped uh, some buttons to weapon shortcuts so I wouldn't have to reach all the way across the keyboard. Uh, the, the buttons for this mouse are in a much more easily accidentally pressable position, so I might uh, switch to the plasma gun a bit more than they intend. Actually set up. Is it uh, Z? C? No, that's crouch. Should be doing that anyway. F. Uh, thin screen. past the first one, and uh, here comes the real one. Uh, didn't make it. I'll be ready this time. <laughs> Sorry, let's try that again. get my reward the last time. On my escape. Where, where am I? Just at the other end of this uh, melee maelstrom menagerie, what am I trying to say? change directions mid-chant. Uh, Um, there's always been enough uh, health to sort me out after an encounter, uh, but the 
trick is keeping your health out between the uh, the the, the uh, big encounters. Like like I'm failing to do here. talent to this map that uh, I want to say now, uh, as I've said before, instead of waiting for summary at the end, that its its talent is just keeping on attacking, and then attack, 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 and then attack, and then stop, and then attack again. Uh, there's just so many enemies springing out of places, and uh, e even once you think the encounter's finished, it'll do it some more. It really is very well done for that. Is that the entrance? Yeah, I haven't done anything of value in here yet. Where do you come from? So where have I not been? Not been here. That's useful. And that's uh, to this little entrance hall. What did I do in here? I suppose I, I hit the two skull switches. Is that is that, a good, is that a good thing? Did it have any effect? I just don't know. Oh yeah, I did that. Um, uh, where next? Did I pick up the computer map in this? Uh, uh, print in. Uh, uh, no, I didn't. Okay, let's go and get that. <laughs> I tried to appear like I knew where I was going, it didn't work. It's this one. There, and there, and across, and down. Okay. Right, so where have I not been? I have not been in the red slash blue area over there. Maybe that's a good place to start, actually. How did you do that? exit. I'm just interested in this little cranny over here. Uh, um, uh, something rapid fire. Actually, this. Oh! 
That's a new berserk weapon. Not entirely a, <laughs> a good exchange for the secret. Again, you know, who would have expected that in the middle of there? Why do we even want the yellow key? Was there a yellow door? I can't remember a yellow door. Ha! <laughs> oh, what's up here? All right, so uh, maybe I can run fast enough to make this useful. No, I cannot. Uh, that's not it. Just going down here and there. Okay. <laughs> right on time. That was an amazing effect. I, I imagined that I was sinking instead of the fortress rising. But to do that in vanilla, it is incredible what you're doing here. Oh, that is weird as well with the uh, sky below you. to go. Likely, uh, likely just uh, left behind in the level somewhere, because uh, that's not the exit. Oh, that's the exit. Hello there. Oh, wow. Okay, for, that was a very, very challenging map. That was Derelict Row by Origamide. Have I played the wrong map? Okay, whichever way it is. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that was an excellent challenging map. Uh, the the encounters were really well done, just keeping on going and going and going and going. Um, the uh, the secrets were clever. The places where you stuffed monsters were clever. I think that uh, you, you mentioned to me that you wanted me to uh, talk about monster encounters and it really showed you put effort into those. So that was great. Well done. I'm going to go before I burn alive.